Hey guys, I am currently in Penang to attend a Tourism Malaysia event. It's just a quick overnight trip and I thought it would be fun during this day to visit three of the restaurants listed in the Michelin Guide. I'm going to go to one restaurant from each category. So it's going to be Ali Nasi Lemak, Rasa Rasa and Auntie Guide Lian's Old School Eatery. I am extremely hungry and excited but thankfully the first stop is just in front of us. So the Nasi Lemak store is located at the front of the Sri Well food court which is great because as you can see we have places to sit. These are the two Nasi Lemaks that I got. On the left we have the anchovy Nasi Lemak and on the right is the fried fish Nasi Lemak. It's a really cute sized fish. Uh, each packet costs 2 ringgit 50 cents which is very cheap but I mean just look at my fist next to it. If you're hungry, you definitely need more than one, just like me. Let's start with the anchovy. Let me get a bit of this sambal action first. Mm, it's nice and ooh, that is spicy. It's an immediate kick to the mouth. Rice is good. You can taste the santan coconut milk. Let me jump to the next nasi lemak for a while. I would assume the sambal is the same. Sambal is the same. Let's try the world's smallest fish. Not fishy at all, really fresh. But if I had to decide, definitely the first one, anchovy and egg. They also have other stuff like squid, prawn and chicken if I'm not mistaken. But I came pretty late, it's like 11.30 right now. So a lot were finished. Is there a better way to show how good the food is other than finishing it completely clean? That was good and my lips are still numb right now from the sambal. Really really good nasi lemak. So now I'm heading to Rasa Rasa. It's not that far away. So I'm taking this opportunity to walk off the nasi lemak just now. Guys, uh, we have a slight problem. Rasa Rasa is in front of me and the signboard says it's closed. So let me look at the list and see where else we can go for lunch. A few moments later. Okay, so I just spent the last 10-15 minutes looking for the next place to eat. There's not that many options technically because a lot of them are not halal and I'm trying to go for authentic local food. So this isn't my most preferred option but I'm going to go to Sardarji Flavors of Punjab. It's about a 5 minute walk. So I guess we're walking again. All right, boys and girls, we have arrived at our next stop. Okay, so one of them just told me it's pronounced as Sadarji. Okay, now you know. Can I get a tandoori chicken biryani okay. and one garlic naan? One garlic naan. What drinks do you recommend? Uh, mango lassi. Mango lassi. Okay, yeah. la, it's very hot today. Okay, one mango lassi. Uh, okay. Can you give plain water as well? Sure. Okay, that's all. Cold water, normal water. Cold water. Sure. Thank you. Garlic naan. Chicken tandoori biryani. Thank you. Oh, so refreshing. Perfect for a hot day like today. Let's start with the garlic naan. Mm. So soft and extremely, extremely strong garlic flavor. Just the way I like it. Okay, now let's head to the chicken tandoori biryani. We've got to scoop it out of the pot. And let me pick this thing up. Oh, that's the chicken. Oh my god, can you see the steam? Mm. So soft and fluffy basmati rice. Let's try the chicken. I can see it char and very juicy. Mm. It's so good. Now together. Perfect. <laughs> I'm not over exaggerating. It is so, so good. Alright guys, I'm just done with my meal. We didn't get to see the kitchen unfortunately because they were already closing down for lunch service. That was the second restaurant and the third one will be tomorrow, not today. Now I'm gonna head to my hotel, my room is ready, check in and then get ready for the event. So I told you guys that I'm going for the tourism event but I didn't tell you why I'm going for it. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen the promotional video I did for Penang and I entered into their contest and somehow that video got second 
thank you guys so much for watching. And tonight they're gonna give me the award basically. I'm not sure what it is. I kinda know the value. I assume it's some vouchers. But yeah, that's it for today. We checked out two restaurants. I'm gonna go get ready for the event. And tomorrow, we'll do the third restaurant before I fly back home. Hey guys, it's a new day and today we're gonna check out Auntie Gaik Lian's Old School Eatery and I'm really excited for this one because it's the one with the Michelin star. Hello, can I get the nasi ulam? Nasi ulam, okay. Um, curry kapitan. Kapitan, okay. And the brinjal sambal. Okay, I think it's good enough. Yeah. Thank it's, you very much. It's too much. Uh, what drinks do you recommend? Nutmeg punch. Masa? Yes, it's a A specialty. Okay. Uh, don't like it, I'll take it away. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you. This is the nutmeg punch and I don't think I've ever had any nutmeg drinks before. Ooh. It's a bit, it reminds me a bit of like a masala spice drink but it's much more refreshing, not creamy like a masala tea. Alright, all my food has arrived. This is the sambal brinjal, this is the nasi ulam and this is the chicken curry kapitan. Okay, let's start with the nasi ulam. Mixed herb rice. Mm. Nicely balanced because sometimes with nasi ulam, the herb flavor is too strong. This one, the seasoning is good. It's not too overwhelming. Brinjal sambal or sambal terong is one of my favorite dishes ever. So, highly recommended this one. Let's see how it is. The sambal, perfectly balanced. It's just spicy enough like the nasi lemak yesterday. Nice, but the spice level is up there. This is just nice. Let's try the chicken. Well, let's try the curry first. Again. Not too salty, not too spicy, it's perfectly balanced. Mm. The chicken, the chicken is so tender. It's a really, really nice meal. The balance uh, is so good. Not too salty, not too sweet, perfectly balanced. Okay, I'm just done with my meal. It costed me about 70 ringgit, which you might think is pricey, but the food is so good. The portion is big, you could easily share that between two people and most importantly, it's a Michelin star restaurant. Hey guys, I'm at Padang Kota right now and I came here because I wanted a quiet place to talk about this trip and also find a place to fly my drone. Anyway, we checked out three places, Ali Nasi Lemak, Sadarji and Auntie Gai Lian and it's been such a wonderful trip for my taste buds. Really nice building behind me. Anyway, if I had to select one, I would definitely go for Auntie Gai Lian's. The food is so good. Don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed the other two places as well, but if you had to choose one, if I had to choose one, Auntie Gai Lian's old school eatery. And it was so nice meeting the owners. They are unfortunately very swamped with bookings every day. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to be back. See you for the next one. Bye!